Assalamu alaikum everyone. I uh, hope every, everyone is doing fine. Uh, and after this brief pause that I had, which is actually, it was, it was actually quite long, I wanted to return with this simple video on uh, really commenting and reflecting on uh, one of the events that has become viral recently, and that's basically the Pope, uh, you could say, lightly slapping the hand of one of the faithfuls that basically pushed him towards her in a quite strong and violent way and uh, the lessons i think that we as muslims should take from this is double first of all a critique on the hypocrites you could say among the media and also the double standard christians that uh, when speaking uh, when looking that was actually an act of violence against a woman by slapping her basically um, uh, they take it as a light thing they say oh it's fine everyone loses patience and uh, that's actually normal uh, basically justifying it and can you imagine what would have happened is this if the one slapping that woman would have been uh, for example uh, a Muslim imagine Imam of Al-Azhar slaps woman in the hand according to Islam's teachings. That's the headlines that we would have had to read as Muslims. But that wasn't the case. Uh, secondly, and that's a, actually a positive note, it is true that actually the Pope is a simple human being. Um, and that he might lose patience. He made a mistake just like... Uh, others make mistake and lose patience it was a mistake to actually slap that woman uh, but I mean we should not fall into the culture of blindly criticizing thinking that we morally are better uh, and in fact the Pope excused himself and stuff like that so it was very interesting and from uh, from this point of view as Muslims we should really uh, I mean, and I say this because uh, there has been politicians, and specifically uh, Salvini, one of the far-right politicians in Italy, that actually, I mean, nobody was thinking about Muslims, because usually when you speak about this stuff, not because it is rightly so, but because people need to find an excuse to attack Islam, especially Islamophobes and anti-Muslims and anti-Muslims, uh, anti well, so, uh, you find this sort of critique. So nobody was thinking about Islam. But because the, the people that have a sickness in their hearts, they know that they, what they do is wrong. They immediately felt in, defend, in, in, in a defensive mood because they knew that uh, uh, Muslims would have, would have criticized them for this. Because, you know, I mean, it's the leader of Christianity, uh, of, or at least Catholicism, and he's slapping a woman in front of, I mean, millions of people, if not billions. So Salvini, this, uh, this filthy individual, actually, uh, this cantankerous individual, starts to talk about Islam. He says, hey, I have nothing against the Pope, because he made a sort of video, uh, a comical video, uh, imitating the Pope. Uh, I have nothing against the Pope. Everybody makes mistakes, but my critique is against Islam. Why would you say that? Well, there is a saying in Italy that says having the wet call, which means that if you know that you've made the mistakes, you're gonna speak. Uh, you're gonna speak extra uh, without the need of it, and that's exactly what happened with Salvini. So yeah, this is a lesson for us. Uh, this is a lesson for us, and we should learn from it. Uh, to learn the double standards, and to learn uh, that the people that are Islamophobes often know that they are doing it with evil intentions, uh, intentions that are uh, not part of Christianity. For example, for example, we should actually find common ground, and that will be it. Assalamualaikum.